Welcome to Gray Overload. I'm Anthony, and AMD has finally put out that driver to hopefully fix most of those issues. For those of you that have been having issues with your Radeon card, specifically with this new uh, 2020 driver, AMD has released a big patch today or new driver with a whole bunch of fixes in it and hopefully it gets to relieve a lot of those people's issues and it, so it's uh, 20.2.2 so this is the second update of this month really they came out the last one the first of the month so it's been the whole entire month AMD has had to take a look at these issues and really get them fixed I was hoping for an update this week and they waited right up until Friday to get it released here and I will post the link in the description below so you guys can go look at it, download it, and uh, see what all is fixed and see if you really want to try it out and see if it fixes all the issues that you've had so far with this driver. And if you're having it, let's say you install this driver and you're having issues, I would highly recommend uh, doing their clean and their advanced options and or uh, doing DDU and just using that uh, display driver uninstall to completely get rid of everything on your system driver wise and then starting up and installing this driver from scratch one reason is is i finally installed the ddu again after i was having issues with just sleeping and not sleeping the computer and all of a sudden now the computer's operating much better after and it actually behaves like it's supposed to and go to sleep when it's supposed to so I think there's still one issue that I'm having personally in my upstairs little media center where audio just disconnects randomly, but I will file that bug as well. And uh, and if you are still having issues, I was reading through Reddit and they really would like to know your setup, what you, what exact setup it is, where you're kind of crashing, even if you can give uh, you know a safe file of where you're at, where those issues are happening. That could and you know everything from monitors to GPU to CPU, everything around it, so that they can really address some of these issues. So that's a little bit of, hey, if you're still having issues, file those bug reports. But let's get into some of the fixes. You know, there's a lot, there was a lot of blue or black screens and just hard resettings, you know, instant replay stuff. You know, they even had stuff with HDR in here, not to read all these. And, you know, they even addressed something where you had a factory reset with the installation and keep my settings was not... Um, would fail so they've they've kind of gone through and really kind of fixed out a lot i mean they have probably about 20 issues fixed here they do have some known issues they say that you still may have some intermediate black screens if you have enhanced sync enabled so that's maybe still one of those things you stay hands off with it i'm curious i have not downloaded on my desktop yet i'm just starting that uh, process now but I'm really curious if they're gonna disable a lot of the stuff in their gaming profile for now and just keep it basic and over time while they start ironing these things out enable them because if I were them I would start uh, either disabling that gaming profile or just put it in standard mode just to kind of get make sure that there's no issues in that most basic mode nothing turned on and then as people start turning stuff on seeing where those issues are just just as a stability thing right if my drivers are stable and i want to go turn something on and it's not happy well then i can report that but at least i can still play my game at least i can do my work so hopefully amd maybe did that i don't know if they did um there's you know the gaming tam and radian software say it may display some folder locations appearing as games Hopefully they're starting to iron that out um, and address that in a later update uh, with making sure all the games are there. There's some HDMI scaling, so there's some still stuff out there still. This is not a, hey, silver bullet, everything's gone. But they did say the known issues is not just, hey, there's only a couple things. No, it's, it's here's what we know, and they're descriptive. So it, I like that it's descriptive, and if you're not having something, go and file that bug report. So I'm, I've been... I read through these earlier today, uh, and I'm trying to remember. I'm looking through them now just to see. They did a lot of stuff with the 5000 series improvements. I don't think a lot of these were just with the 5000 because I've heard people with Vegas, uh, you know, Polaris cards also having issues. So we'll see. But definitely test out the driver. See if it's working for you. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback. I got some feedback in the last video on what things, you know, what things were wrong and 
who knows if AMD is looking at it, but it, I kind of like to go out and do some re more research to see if there is something I missed or if there's another way to fix it. I am noticing on Reddit, I was on Reddit on the driver page, so if you go, it's like the second post that AMD has pinned on the AMD's Reddit page, that this driver is receiving a lot of positive feedback uh, on fixing a lot of people's issues. There are some people still having issues with them, and AMD, uh, one of the uh, AMD's um, uh, Redditors is on there kind of going through and helping out everybody uh, along the way or asking for more feedback as well. And that that's the big thing, right? I can't, I work in, I write software for a living. I can't fix anything if I don't have uh, data to go on how to reproduce it. And so the big thing is getting that data back, just like, you know, with Windows and how buggy it is or can be, is getting that data back to Microsoft so they can fix it, or, you know, in this case, AMD. And hopefully that this will start to set a new level of standard at AMD of this is where they need to be, this is how they need to test, and they can move forward from that, right? Um, let me know what your thoughts are on this driver, seeing if you're having issues, if you are out of the woods. I mean, if this is fixing a lot of people's issues, I'm willing to, you know, better reconsider AMD products. You know, if you're making a purchase in the upcoming months, you know, if they get another driver in here and their um, stability keeps incre getting better instead of it reverting back to where it was, that's a great sign. And that, you know, that usually shows me that they're trying to put a better development effort into it. And so let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this. I really, really want to know what your results are too. Um, if you have to do that clean install, do that as well. But I'm hoping a lot of the issues are no longer clean installed based, that they're just, hey, we can update and a lot of it just is working now. I know um, there may be some interesting stuff going forward with AMD's new WDDM, their, so their new driver model. The, what is it windows device driver model i think it is don't quote me on that i could be wrong but there's gonna be some more improvements there and hopefully that this even helps the radeon team even more get a better driver more performant going forward so let me know what you your thoughts are i do want to say thank you guys for watching thank you guys for helping this channel grow i really appreciate it and how you guys have helped this channel out and until next time, don't forget to, to like, share, and subscribe, and God bless.